Dude, it looks shallow, but I, I would put money that there'd be like pike and bass in here. Yeah, it's flowing. Oh, it's, it's flowing. It's got vegetation. Oh, you see that something? There's one of the dog. Some hidey holes. Woo! We've made it. It's time to get active. Rob's got his sticks. I've got a rigged frog and stick. Um, also rigged spinning. Rob's also got a tiny little rod, which is gonna be a lot of fun to throw. What are you gonna start off with? Uh, the Deadly Nedley. Deadly Nedley. Our goal for today is to explore some of these northern creeks that are just absolutely littered throughout the northern part of Minnesota. I'm starting off with a little tiny finesse rig. One thing I've found is that the shallower the water and the clearer the water, it's best to throw tiny presentations. Oh, you already got one? Rob's already hooked up. I should probably get active. Wow, look at that. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little tiny finesse hook, that big, and I'm gonna put a finesse worm on that finesse hook, right? That would make sense. Quick tips from John B. Got the worm, the sexy little deal here. It's very tiny, very subtle. It's all you need. And we're working with limited tackle today too. It's kind of a challenge. Legitimately, all the tackle I have to use today is in this little box right here. This is it, I got nothing else. So it's gonna be a covert ops, lightweight run and gun mission on these creeks. Hope you guys are stoked, stick with it. Well, let's catch some fish. Spot number one, I'm gonna see if I can stock on some fish. So it's a place of four million lakes, but how many creeks though? Like 13? Trillion. What if it's like, what if they had like this thing where it's like land of 10,000 lakes and only 13 creeks? All right, well first creek was, uh, that was fun. I lost a bass and Did I you? walked all the way down and didn't see a single fish. Let's go to this creek, it's like three minutes away. Oh, three minute, let's go. Three minute drive. Let's full sender. Whoa, it wants us to go that way. I reckon probably that this is gonna be a good spot. Throw the lures in here. Robert, have you tried throwing the lures? Now we're, now we're, now we're this is now awkward. We're here. This is just so awkward. Look how awkward this is. Have you ever been this awkward before? Let's go be awkward on the creek. We're at creek number two now. I'm rolling with just the chest mount. I think the, the key, here, there's two keys. There's two things, two factors that I have to rely on. One of which, I gotta pack light. Bag of baits and a rod and reel. And then the other factor is I've had to find running water. That last spot that we were at, it seemed like most of the fish where Rob was fishing were clumped up there because of that current. And then the farther you went down, the slacker the water got and the limited amount of fish there were. I gotta use my noodle here. I gotta find some running water, which I can hear right now. Do you guys hear that? Worm in the water. Lure engaged. Oh my god, the bluegill are after it. I got a largey. It's a little one though. I'm hooked up, I'm hooked up, I'm hooked up. First cast, I've already got one. Look at this water. Oh my god, this is crystal. Bunch of current too, look how much current there is. Woo, got one, big one. Rob and I doubled up, that thing smashed it. <laughs> I can't get the hook out of mine. This is my first fish ever. There's my bass and there's Rob's. Of course, Rob's is bigger. I'm gonna give mine an aerial release. We'll see you later, dude. Oh, that was a little harsh, he's cool. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Oh my God. What in the flying happened here? Wow, I jimmied that pretty good. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, this is going to have tons of fish in it. This right here is that juice. Oh, I got one. He ate it on the surface. That was nuts. That fish ate it right on the surface. What is that? Is that a largey? Oh, it is largey. Boom. Number two, I like this creek a lot better. It's being a little bit more nicer than the last creek. The prior creek was pretty tough. Gotta be stealthy when you're fishing the clear water creeks. There's one, that's a good one. That's a nice one, that's a nice one. Oh, come on buddy, don't come off. Oh wow, they fight so hard in this current. This is a 7.3 rod and it's just bent completely over. This is not a tiny fish, this one's pretty good. This thing's dogging me in the current. Oh no, boat flip. Got him. Are you joking? Look how freaking fat this fish is. This thing is loaded. Oh my God, dude, you did not need to eat that worm. You were already mega full. Gorgeous fish. Look how freaking fat that thing is. Isn't this thing just ginormous? Yeah. See you, bud. Um, okay, uh, you go that way and I'll go this way. Okay. Deal. Oh, wow. This has got ticks written all over it. Oh, ouch, ouch. Oh, there's a bird. There we go, here's a nice spot. Nice little zone. Sneak up on the bath. I'm a snaky snaky up on him. Definitely a fish right there. Oh, there's a bass right there. He's gonna eat it. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Whoa, that was tight. He was just cruising. He had no idea that I was over here. 
dropped the room right in front of him and he ate it. Looks like, damn, this fish is so colored out. looks like a spot. Pretty fish. He just ate right on those lily pads. Right about there. There we go. I twitch it. Oh my God. Big bluegill. Big bluegill just came up and smoked it. Do I have him hooked? Oh, he's hooked. I got one. Got a gill. God, this thing was so aggressive. Like as soon as it hit the water, he was on it. That's a pretty gill. It's crazy how these gills are like so aggressive that they'll eat a wacky worm. I got eyes on some largies. He's actually coming in right near me. Oh my God, don't do that. I'm just gonna plop that right there. Nice. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. Oh, he's got it. Got him. Ooh, that was so cool. Come here, come here. Oh, don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Oh, that's not a bad fish. He looked a lot smaller in the water. I thought for sure that was like a little puny one, but that's that's 12 inches all day for a creek in Minnesota. This is a good one. Oh, now we're talking. Woo! Worm strikes again. That is a good looking fish. Wow. You can't beat watching the eat. Watching that fish slurp down that worm is by far the coolest thing on earth. big pool right in front of me. Deepest pool in this entire creek that I've seen so far. And for some weird reason, I feel like there's probably gonna be a good bass just chilling right here. Gonna try to stay in full stealth mode right now. Okay, well, almost got hung up on a branch. Oh, I am currently hung up on a branch. <laughs> Get off of there. Oh, my heart's pounding. <laughs> Get off of there. Oh, I see one bass. It's not giant, but I do see one bass. All right, the worm's in. Oh, he's coming at it. Oh, the freaking tiny one grabbed it. I'm hooked up. Well, there's definitely a bigger one down there. And this guy swooped in before the big one could even get close to it. Oh God, relax. All right, another one. Come on, that bass has got to get, come on, he's going after it, he's going after it. Oh no, he turned. Why did he turn? He didn't want it. Ooh, they're a little spooky now. Dude, let's scram. What are we still doing here? Let's go find some more creeks. Hey, how'd you do though? Got fish. Put her there, nice job. This water's pretty clear, isn't it? It's almost yeah. like you could drink from it. You want to drink from it? I'm thirsty. Spot number two complete. That one was a lot better. I think I caught maybe right around seven or eight fish. I don't know. I kind of lost track there. But I pretty much caught all my fish thus far at this creek, this roadside creek, which is kind of crazy. Like you're listening to cars whiz by you as you're smoking some bass. I'm still looking for that big one. But even if I don't catch a big fish today, I'm just content being out here fishing these creeks and exploring. This is totally new territory for me. I have absolutely no idea what to expect for fishing all new waters. And uh, we just have to figure it out as we go along. Rob's waiting on me in the truck, so let's move on to spot number three. Where are we going next? Your choice. For one, I'd like to get some shoved in my mouth. You want some uh, water, water, maybe? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, Rob picked the first two spots, which were pretty productive. Um, now I'm off the bat. First spot I picked wasn't too good. Might have been all of three inches and looked like poop. Did have current though, so that was a big plus. You're gonna take a left in 0.2 miles on City Road. County Road, <laughs> not City Road, County Road. Strike one on the last spot. Hopefully this one looks a little bit better. We're just trying to find current and clear water. That's really all we're looking for. It is, wow, it actually went up degrees since last I looked at it. It's 91 degrees Fahrenheit in Minnesota. So these fish need some cool water. And the best way to find cool water is by looking and trying to find current. It's really hot in Minnesota. It feels like I'm back in Texas. Wow, Rob just put me right into a prairie field. Okay, a little <laughs> house in the prairie. I'm just gonna jump down. Oh my gosh. We're at the third spot. This was kind of a haul. Took us uh, a whopping 30 minutes to get to this zone. Does it look good? It's flowing, yeah. It's flowing. Another roadside creek. Well, Rob, what do you say that we scram on out of here and find some water that has fish in it? Because this doesn't have any fish in it. On to spot number four now. As much as I love creek fishing, you think I'd be pretty good at finding creeks, especially in new territories, you know, like the whole whole Google Maps thing, you find one? Yeah. Like, if I swear to God, if this one is better, it's pretty big, more like a river. It's Russian. It's Russian? 13 minutes away. Well, we're in America though. How is it Russian? Look at those pants. Look at my pants. These are Russian. Spot number six, here we go. Okay. All right, well, hopefully your mama is close by. Hang in there, you guys are really freaking cute. You're a little loud, but that's okay. You're, you're still pretty badass. See ya, buddies. 
Enjoy your grass. <laughs> I can confidently say I'll probably never get this close to another swan lane ever again. For those of you guys who fish and have been around swans, you know how aggressive they are and how aggressive they especially get when they're around their young. So uh, the DNR, we called the DNR on there. They said basically the pre-recorded message was like, if you find young birds or like animals that have been seemingly left alone, usually they're not actually left alone. It's like a tactic for the mother and predator. I don't know, it really is confusing, but essentially they just said, leave them. We're supposed to leave you guys, okay? See ya, bye-bye, take care. There's one, I'm hooked up. I got one's going in the grass. Feels pretty decent. Oh, of course he's right in the freaking vegetation. It feels like a giant, but it's probably only like 12 inches. Oh, finally. All it took was switching baits. What is it? Oh, largemouth, got a largey. Right along the grass edge. Yeah, buddy. Well, I pulled him through all of that vegetation. Oh, he swallowed it too. Rob actually went above the bridge to get over that side and he was telling me there's a bunch of fish right along this current break edge. As you can see, all the current is over on that side. And then right over here to where that grass is at, it's a little bit of slack water. And that's where Rob caught like one of his fish. So I decided to follow suit and try a little swim bait in the zone as a little swim bait can do so good in moving water. Like it's just nothing. It's just a little tiny three and three quarters inch swim bait. It's so hot out here today. We've been grinding our butts off trying to get bit. And a simple little largey is all we needed. See ya, bud. Okay, going right back on the edge. Right on that grass seam. Let's see, there's another one over there. Just hopping, I'm not really swimming, I'm just kind of hopping off the bottom. Looks like a little dying bait fish or maybe like a darter. Got another one, hooked up again. Second cast, second fish. It's another one, doesn't feel as big, but still. They're thick over here, what is this? Oh, rock bass. Look at the size of this rock bass. Oh my God, that's a chunk. Up North Rockies, <laughs> these guys are littered throughout these lakes and creeks. It doesn't really matter where you go, these guys are present. That's a pretty freaking big one, damn. All right, get back down there, bud. Oh, look at that crystal clear water. Home? Musk lunge. We're gonna do some musky fishing? Yeah. Your figure eight game's pretty weak though. First and foremost, this last spot came in mega clutch thanks to this guy. My creek finding skills are just out the window. We're not even gonna think about that. Anything you wanna say before I close out this beautiful video? Thanks for wearing those pants. These pants came in clutch today. Where are your cool pants at? Oh, look at dad pants. Are these zippers? Please tell me those <laughs> zip off, don't they? Yeah. I'm Rob Turkle. I like cookouts and zip down pants. <laughs> this is where I end today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are curious as to how we caught the fish, the baits, the lures, the rods, the reels, the swan lanes, linked in the description below so you can come out here, maybe Minnesota and crank on some roadside creek fish. And on that note, I'm heading out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And as always, folks at home, keep fishing. Never stop.